Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Mad Mad Vlog. Sorry if the hair looks a bit disheveled. Uh, been roaming around all day today. Um, so, I got monitored for my friends Aaron and Randy. Um, uh, the main thing today was that I got to go see Star Wars. Uh, I've seen Star Wars as I'm looking for that. You can't see it very well because I got that big light on, but it's glowing. Oh, turn it off. I don't know if you can even tell if there's a difference or not. But, uh, this little sucker has been unlit and unused since, like, the late 90s. I went above and beyond last night and actually figured out how to take this thing apart. There's a little screw right there. And even got the light bulb out in order to find out, oh, I could just pop in two uh, double A's in here. Pop them in, because they're my last double A's. Fire it up, and away she goes. As a matter of fact, actually, the easiest way to tell you that it works. There. And now you know. Still a collapsible sword and a little thing I had when I was a kid. I just held, had it uh, collapse the entire time, didn't bother unfolding it or anything. Just wanted to have a lightsaber in case geekiness arose. Um, but yeah, um, as far as free as I can be, I love this movie. This, I don't know if it's better than the original trilogy. I, I would take multiple sittings side by side with the original trilogy. Also, uh, it can be easily said that compared to the prequel trilogy, this is above and beyond. This is far superior than anything that... George Lucas, without any questions asked, was making. Let's face facts, when a creator does not get to... When a creator reaches a point where they think they can make things without asking people, does this sound like a good idea? Bullshit happens, and that's what the prequel trilogy was. Bullshit. It's because Lucas had to say yes to people and answer up to people who had more experience, and he actually listened to them that the original trilogy worked out so well. It's because he suddenly got on a high horse and thought he was unstoppable is why the prequel trilogy was such a hot mess. These people have to answer to someone now. George Lucas cannot hammer uh, at anything and say, no, it has to be my way or the highway. It now has to answer to a higher calling from multiple people. And hopefully that is what will help keep the new Star Wars franchise going and will help it continue to improve beyond this huge set for what will be the next trilogy. And also all the side installments that will be coming as we go through the trilogy. Because obviously they're not going to pop out one of the main series every year. Uh, they were already talking about the first side one, which is going to be more or less a Rogue Squadron, if you want to call it, movie. So... So that'll be interesting. But uh, anyway, I've rambled on for almost 10 minutes here. Really good movie. No spoilers as much as possible. Can't wait to see how the next couple chapters are going to fly through, through for us and see what they are able to pull on us. Um, hopefully they continue to take what's been now presented and continue to hone it and improve it and give us something really stellar to look forward to later. But that's all for now. And I'll see you all next time.